Welcome again to uh, Save Your Money, Save Your Teeth here on uh, E-Radio. It's our uh, go-to podcast where curiosity meets dentistry straight from the experts. I'm Ion, and it's time for us again to uh, chat to Dr. Clifford Udelman to uh, take a nice deep dive into the world of dental care from a consumer's perspective. Dr. Udelman is, of course, from uh, OptiSmile. Uh, whether you're looking to uh, brighten your smile or uh, protect your wallet, We've got you covered with the practical advice and the latest insights. So stick around as we uncover the secrets to maintaining both your dental health and also your finances. Uh, Dr. Yudelman, welcome again. Uh, Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me back and looking forward to today's episode uh, on Invisalign again this time about deciding on treatment and a little bit more details about the actual treatment. So, yes, uh, Dr. Udelman, I want to ask you, why is choosing Invisalign an important decision for those looking to enhance their smile? So Invisalign offers a clear and a discreet way to get a smile, uh, a straighter smile without using metal railway tracks or traditional braces. The patients experience the freedom to live their life without the the self-consciousness that often patients are self-conscious about their skew teeth in the first place. And then putting metal brackets and wires on for 12 to 18 months can can be even more traumatic. So with Invisalign, it's, it's almost invisible. It's clear and it's discreet. And a lot of people won't even notice that you're straightening your teeth. And you start to see the results after four to eight weeks. The a lot of problems in the front already start looking better, and and of course because there's no metal brackets and wires, the the beauty starts to emerge like a butterfly uh, coming out of a cocoon. And Invisalign's advanced technology is very precise. It's customized just to each individual, and. Choosing Invisalign is an investment both in your confidence and in your long-term dental health. So I think it's a very important decision. So now, doctor, how do you assess if a patient is a good candidate for uh, Invisalign? So we assess the complexity of the dental issue and ensure that Invisalign can deliver the desired results. There are very, very few cases these days with the latest versions of Invisalign uh, that require some other treatment. Invisalign can handle almost any type of malocclusion or or skewness in teeth. Uh, The patient's lifestyle and commitment level are considered to gauge their compliance with wearing aligners that we'll talk about a bit later. And we also evaluate, you know, the oral health to ensure there's no underlying conditions that can interfere with treatment. And our our goal is to match the patient's expectations with what uh, Invisalign can realistically achieve and create a clear path forward. Okay, and what is the initial consultation process like for Invisalign? Can you uh, talk us through it? Yeah, so we start off with a detailed discussion about what your smile goals are and your concerns. And then we do a comprehensive oral exam and we use uh, 3D digital scans with the Itero scanner, which has tools on it, uh, something called an occlusogram, where it's like a heat map. It shows us which teeth are hitting and shows us teeth that are hitting that aren't supposed to be hitting. And it, uh, we, we, it's, it's a touch screen and we can zoom and turn around and look at top and bottom and from the inside. And the patient really, for the first time, gets to see what their teeth look like. The patients will get a customized treatment plan, including an estimated timeline and uh, expected result. So there's something unique to Invisalign. It's called an outcome simulation but after we scan you we push a, a button uh, or we touch it on the touch screen we we push uh, invisalign outcome simulation and it creates a simulation as if we're designing a new invisalign smile for you and on the latest scanner that we have we have one of the few in south africa it's called the 5d the itero 5d we have outcome simulator pro so we take a picture of you with the iphone app or with a, a android app 
a big smiling picture. And by the time we scan you, we can then see what your new teeth will look like or your new smile will look like in your face, in your own mouth. And we can adjust it on the models and it changes it in your mouth. So it's not just photoshopping. It's actually using AI and mm. 3D 3D tools to to do this. It's very unique. Only Invisalign has that. And we end up explaining all the next steps and make sure that the patient's informed and, and confident. I like how patients can uh, see beforehand what it will look like. I think that's very, very nice, uh, thanks to uh, modern-day uh, technology. Uh, how do you, yeah. uh, Dr. Yudeman, help uh, patients set realistic expectations for their uh, Invisalign treatment? So we provide a completely transparent overview of the treatment process, including any potential challenges. Um, like I said, we show you digital simulations. We discuss the commitment required uh, to wear the aligners for the recommended 22 hours a day. So if you don't think that you'll be able to comply with that, then it's better not to go ahead. So you do need to wear them all the time, except when you're eating or cleaning your teeth. If you only wear them 18 hours a day or overnight or you don't comply, it doesn't work and it's a waste of time and money. And we also explain to you what, uh, what the process involves, which, which means Invisalign has uh, what's called uh, custom attachments. They're designed, especially with AI, every different tooth has a tiny little attachment. Not all teeth need attachments, but they, they are tooth-colored uh, bits of plastic that get bonded onto your teeth, usually at visit number three. And we show you what those look like on a model. We, we can only show you exactly where they're going to go on your own teeth once we've submitted it to Invisalign and we've done your plan. And we also explain to you something called IPR, which is where we polish between the teeth to make sure that they don't knock into each other and it's very very precise it's 0.2 of a millimeter or 0.3 of a millimeter thinner than, than a fingernail and this is done at certain times and it's all digitally simulated and controlled it's not a random thing and we also talk about the continuous support and the regular checkups that we that we'll do for you we emphasize that you know that helps keep keep you motivated and on track that's great. And um, what are the financial options available for uh, patients considering Invisalign? So at OptiSmile, we offer flexible payment plans tailored to fit different budgets to make it accessible. Um, there, there are uh, discounts for paying up front where patients get a 15% discount, um, which not many practices do. Um, there are also options to pay over 12 months and we provide any information to you so you can see if your medical aid might cover. Some medical aids pay for braces, in which case they will also pay for Invisalign, um, usually only up to about 35,000 Rand a year. And we, we always work closely with patients to try to find a solution that fits with their particular situation. We, we also have outside financing available for patients that need to, to look at other options. Okay, that's fantastic. And now uh, for the preparation process, how do patients prepare for their first set of uh, aligners? So we up to the point where the patients have actually got their scans and then we've showed them uh, either virtually or they come in you know, we show them on a Zoom or a Google Meet or they come in, we show them their clin check, which is the, their particular plan, exactly how many aligners, when we're going to change it. We've sent them frequently asked questions and brochures. They've, they've had a number of discussions with us, so they're usually quite ready for that. But a couple of days before the first appointment, we send them more detailed instructions on how to put them in, how to take them out, how to clean them. Uh, we talk about something called chewies, which are like a little polystyrene or like a little rubber. It looks like a mini pool noodle that you bite on. Every time you put your aligners back in, you chew on it for you know 10 or 20 times. And then um, we give you specific instructions on using this 
do we we make sure that uh, that there's enough time to show you? You know, we make sure you can get your liners in and out. We encourage you to plan your meals and snacks around the the wear time. We also send you a, a link to a video and information on on how to get set up with what's called virtual care, which is where you'll take pictures every week of your liners before you change to the next one. And we can track it using AI. So, you know, we just help you to prepare mentally for the commitment of wearing these aligners. Most, most patients are very excited and they don't have a problem. It's, it's really very simple. There's nothing really much to it. We always make sure that the first two aligners, there's no attachments, there's no IPR. You basically come in and we give you, comes in a beautiful, like unboxing a new iPad or something. There's a beautiful box and a, and a special case. We give you your chewies and um, a silk bag. We put your extra aligners, your, your second week of a line, your second set of aligners in there. The aligners come all sealed and numbered and package we only usually give you anywhere from two to four at a time so you go away for a month or sometimes a little bit longer if you're using virtual care but we we take care we hold your hand every step of the way uh, we check in with you after a couple of days to see how you're doing you have the either my number or dr harris or dr kira dr cara there's four of us that do invisalign you have our personal whatsapp numbers should you have a, a question so we really try and look after patients. I love how you uh, go with them every step of the way. I think that's so important. Uh, well done. Uh, what kind of support is also available to uh, patients during their uh, Invisalign treatment? Yeah, so in addition to to what what I just said, you know, we, we make sure... So in, in the States where they've been using virtual care for a long time, especially since COVID, they'll sometimes give someone all 14, if they've got 14 aligners, and send them on their way and book them back in 14 weeks' time. We find uh, we, we have a combination of the two. We like to, to uh, judge patient by patient. Some people are very adaptable and very good at doing things, and other people – especially like older patients, they, they really want to make sure that they're doing it properly. So they'll come in after a month. After anywhere from four to eight aligners, we do something called a progress assessment. We scan you with the Itero, with your aligners out. And then we go, it goes onto the cloud and say you now on the liner number eight. We it pulls in where your teeth should be on the line in number eight, and it it overlaps or compares where your teeth are now to where they should be, and then everything that's moving exactly according to plan. Now remember, it's very 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 accurate. None of the other systems have this, so it's accurate to zero point two of a millimeter, and we can see if if a tooth is supposed to have moved half a millimeter or 0.8 of a millimeter by now and it's only moved 0.7 it will actually show us instead of green the tooth will show up as yellow and then we could say you know are you wearing these 22 hours a day are you struggling to are you only wearing them 20 hours a day and we give people some coaching and encouragement uh, motivational tips um, we also in certain cases where patients can't just for one reason or another, can't get in the full 22 hours, we might advise them to slow the treatment down and to rather change their aligners every 10 days and in some cases every 14 days. So obviously the more you wear them, the quicker it goes and the sooner you can change them. If you're not wearing them and they're not tracking according to plan, then you're going to end up taking longer for your treatment. So so people have to choose, you know, which route they want to go. But we, we celebrate milestones together. We keep the patients engaged and excited. And um, like I said, WhatsApp support. They've got the practice WhatsApp number. They've got, they've got my number. They have the other dentist number, whoever's treating them. We make it as easy as possible. Fantastic. Uh, can you also share some success stories with us from patients who chose uh, Invisalign? Well, I'd like to say that every story, every patient who we've ever done Invisalign on is a success story. 
patients have invested a lot of time and commitment, whether it's uh, Invisalign Light 14 aligners or Invisalign Moderate 20 aligners or a comprehensive case where they're going up as many as 30 or 40 weeks and some patients even longer if they have severe, you know, bite uh, or bad malocclusions. And depending on, on how skew the teeth were and how it affected the patient's confidence, every single patient gets a gain in confidence. Um, I've mentioned in previous podcasts that we've had patients that towards the end of their treatment, they now engage or they have a new relationship. People uh, start um, they go back into the workplace. If it's an older patient, maybe a lady that's gone, that's taken time off from work and had, had a couple of kids, and now the kids are nine or 10 years old and the, the patient's in her late 40s or 50s and they haven't worked in a while and, and they're lacking confidence, they get their teeth straightened, whitened. In, in many cases, we do a little bit of injection molded composite, which we've discussed, and uh, we see we see a change in every patient. I think, like I said, every every patient is a success is a success uh, story and a transformation. There's patients who were anxious about orthodontic treatment, and they just find it you know life changing because it's clear and nobody can see them. And then obviously in teenagers who who can be very shy if a front tooth is biting behind another tooth or they have a lot of gaps or their teeth are very crowded and they're always covering up their mouth by the time they they're done and in teenagers it can go very quickly you know they they come in they they're wearing some makeup they they, they their hair looks beautiful and and they really have come out of their their shell and the parents tell us how you know it doesn't disrupt their school and their sporting activities i know i sound overly positive but we, we just love doing Invisalign. The patients love it. And although it's a big investment financially and time-wise, the rewards are, are bountiful. Sounds amazing. Uh, also, Doctor, what common concerns do uh, patients have before starting Invisalign and how do you address them? So patients often worry about pain or discomfort. So we explain how the, the each aligner puts very, very, very gentle pressure on the teeth. Uh, with generic aligners, you they cannot get it as accurate. They don't have what's called smart track material. Uh, Invisalign researched almost 400 materials before they came up with the special material. They've done 19 million cases, I was told, at a, at a lecture that I went to yesterday. Um, they, they've done a lot of research. There's, they've got what's called smart staging, which they stage each movement very precisely. So the generic aligners, um, you change them every two weeks and they can sometimes push on your teeth up to half a millimeter, which is, which is quite a lot of pressure, which means every two aligners are trying to push your tooth one millimeter, whereas with Invisalign, one millimeter movement will be set up over five aligners. So it's very gentle pressure. When patients get the first uh, few aligners, we encourage them to take Bernardo if they have like a dull ache or any any tenderness in their teeth. We, we try to avoid aspirin or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen. Um, yeah, we address any concerns. They can look in the mirror and see that it's just really very discreet and any questions about effectiveness are answered and we show them other successful cases uh, but we always make sure they understand the time commitment and and try and give them tips on on how to how to wear them effectively and not let it interrupt their life and the final question for uh, today how do you ensure patients feel confident and uh, very importantly comfortable with their decision so at the initial consultation, there's it's completely no pressure. It's a no pressure environment. We we allow a lot of time. We spend an hour to an hour and a half. They also get to spend up to an hour with a, a trained treatment coordinator. Uh, at OptiSmile, Verona has had a very extensive Invisalign 
case, uh, straightening her own teeth, and she actually is wearing Invisalign at the moment, so she's able to, you know, explain to them from a personal point of view what was involved. You know, we build trust by giving them thorough, thorough information and addressing any concerns up front. They get to feel what an aligner feels like, and they they we reassure them you know that we have ongoing communication and support we guarantee that so they're never alone in their journey unlike in in the states in the uk they've got these direct to consumer aligners where you cut out the middleman and the middleman is the orthodontist or the dentist that's the most important part here yeah. so cutting out the middleman isn't really the way to go when it comes to straightening your teeth luckily in south africa we read we don't have that, but some of the generic aligners that some dentists that don't really have the experience, you know, are providing is a similar, it's almost like a mail order thing. They scan you, they give you your aligners, you go away, you come back, they're going to scan you again and order more. And it's, uh, it's, it's not as sophisticated as, as Invisalign. From, from mm -hmm. what we've seen, we, we don't offer those at OptiSmart. Well, thank goodness. So uh, we're in South Africa. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. uh, yes, that wraps up uh, another edition of uh, Save Your Money, Save Your Teeth. Uh, Dr. Clifford Udelman, once again, a big thank you to you for uh, sharing your uh, expertise with us. Thank you very much. And I look forward to next week for our final episode number six on on straightening your teeth, uh, more about in, Invisalign, life with Invisalign and uh, more in-depth information for people who by now are seriously thinking about it. So keep well and we'll speak to you next week. Absolutely. Certainly looking forward to that. And uh, also a big thank you to uh, our listeners for uh, tuning in. Remember also while we uh, strive to provide valuable insights, always consult with your own dental professional for advice tailored to your personal health. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcasts for more uh, advice also and uh, more enlightening discussions. And then join us again next week as we continue to explore the fascinating intersection of dental health and financial savvy. Until then, keep smiling and taking great care of your teeth. Discover the world of dental excellence with OptiSmile. Join us for a weekly podcast featuring Dr. Clifford Udelman, a seasoned expert with 40 years of dental experience across four continents. Gain unique insights and expert dental advice by visiting optismile.co.za for articles that illuminate the path to optimal oral health. If you're seeking unparalleled dental care in Cape Town, get in touch with OptiSmile or book directly online on optismile.co.za. OptiSmile, where global expertise meets local care.